Hi, I'm Sheila Shamay. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going and today I'm going to do the makeup of the day when I just tell you what I used on my face. As you already know, probably by now, <laughs> I like to do this video on days when I don't do a video for my channels. And also today, I had to get a little fixed up because my daughter, she will be in a band concert today. So I'm excited about that. So yeah, I fixed up just a little bit. So I hope you like this look. Um, I'll show you as far as my face. This is what's going on today as you can see here. Okay. Got some nude lips, kind of umbrayish, and some smoky, smoked out eyes. Okay. Smoked out those lids today. And I used like a pink rose color on my cheeks and I bronzed up a little bit. But I'm going to show you the products that I use, majority of the products. Okay, the products that I use is, first of all, I'll go ahead and show you the eyeshadow. I use the Anastasia Artist Palette. I love this palette, you guys. This is a fabulous palette. Love it. Um, I can tell you the shadows. <clears throat> I can tell you the shadows that I use. I use this color called Dusty Rose on my lid. And I also use Baby I'm a Star, which is a fabulous color on the lower lash line and even into the crease. Love this color. And I also used, um, those are the two colors that I used, okay? So that's the two colors that I used from this palette to create this eyeshadow look as you see loving this palette you guys love it i just hauled this palette and i absolutely love it it's a fabulous palette now the next eyeshadow palette that i use is the Too faced semi sweet chocolate bar now what i used out of this palette is the butter pecan shade which is my favorite shade use this on my brow bone to highlight my brow bone and then i use the shade uh, nugget i think that's the way you pronounce it as a transition color and then I use the shade Truffled in my crease. And then on the outer portions right here, like right here in the corner where it's really dark, I use the shade called Licorice, which is this shade right here. Love this palette. It's one of my favorite palettes at the moment. Love it. So I use both of those as eyeshadows both of the palettes and then i also use my favorite palette kat von d shade and light contour palette i use this palette mainly the colors that i use it's just the two highlighting shades these two which is levitation here and lyric levitation i use just to clean up my contour line on my nose and um, I use the shade Lyric to clean up my bronzer line here and a little bit of Lyric underneath the eyes just to highlight my under eye. So yeah, you guys, I use this palette today. I used as foundation and powder, I used the Revlon Age Defying Firming and Lifting Makeup. It's in the shade Early Tan. I use this as a foundation, of course, and then I use the matching powder in medium deep that looks like this. I love this powder, you guys. I am loving this powder. This is one of my favorite pressed powder right now. I did not know how good this powder was until I tried it, and even the foundation. I really like it. Now, underneath my foundation, I use the Femme Couture Get Corrected CC Concealer in medium deep. 
I love this. You can get this at Sally's Beauty Supply. It's awesome just to cover all of your problem areas on the face. I really love this product. All right, to contour or to bronze up my skin, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Foundation um, Stick in the shade Coconut. It looks like this. I use this product to contour or bronze up my skin. The next product I use is the uh, Maybelline Fit Me in the shade, it's the Press Powder in the shade 360 Mocha. It's a beautiful color to contour with. It's super, super matte. Love this. So I contoured or bronzed up my face with that. Now I use, as far as a blush, I use the Ilef Blush Palette. And I use this shade right here, this like dusty rose type of pink color on my cheeks here on the back portions of my cheek. Um, so yeah, I use that shade. And then as a highlighter, you know I've been loving this highlighter. This is the Palladio Baked Bronzer in Atlantic Tan looks like this but it says a bronzer but for me it is a highlighter it is so beautiful this is how it looks you guys on my finger i know i've said it over and over but it's just a beautiful highlighting shade as you can see right there it's just beautiful all right i put that right here on top of my cheeks as you see that little shine here that's what I have on top of my cheeks. And then I use the Ilef High Definition Powder on my neck lines. I've been loving it strictly for my neck. It just makes my neck look so, so beautiful. And it does fill in lines, you guys. It fills in lines. So this is a great product. And I used it today as part of my makeup look. And as a concealer I use the flower lighten up brightening concealer in BC3 so I use this concealer you can get this at Walmart I love this concealer I love the flower beauty brand it's just good I mean I just love the products okay they have many many products and I love the flower beauty products as eyeliner or for eyeliner for eyeliner i use the um l'oreal infallible liqueur liner in black is black i love this liner i used it on my lower i guess waterline yeah i use that and i also apply the femme couture cake eyeliner this is what yeah it's called it's called the Femme Couture Cake Eyeliner in Black. And what I did is I just went over the um, L'Oreal Liqueur Liner um, with this cake eyeliner. It's just like a black eyeshadow. So you can use a black eyeshadow. It just keeps the eyeliner in place. That's what this does, this cake eyeliner. And I love it. All right, the next eyeliner I use is the Physician Formula Eye Booster. I love this eyeliner, especially when I want to wing out my eyeliner. As you can see right here, I winged it out just a little bit. Just a little wing, you know, not nothing too much, but just a little bit. I love this, and I even lined my top lash line with this um, Physician Formula um, Eye Booster Eyeliner. Love that. And my favorite thing, you guys, I had also mentioned about, I did a video on um, my haul, which I had um, got the Anastasia Artist Palette. Well, I purchased this um, mascara uh, called the Lancome Grandiose. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's G-R-A-N-D-I-O-S-E. And it's just a beautiful mascara, you guys. I love the, the 
I love the rose inside or the flower inside the cap. Love everything about this mascara, you guys. And it comes with this um, Seals Booster XL. This is what you're supposed to apply on first and then apply the mascara. You guys, I have it on today. I will do a video on this mascara and this booster, the Seal Booster XL and let you see what a difference it does for my um, eyelashes. I can get up closer and you can take a look at them. They are so beautiful. Now these are not false eyelashes. I do not have false eyelashes on. This is my natural lash, but with a boosting <laughs> mascara. And this is how I look. I'm gonna open up my eyes real wide and you'll see how long my lashes look. Like, look at that. Like, that is beautiful. And I do have it on my lower lashes. It even helps my lower lashes to look longer. It is a wonderful mascara, you guys. I will do a video on this mascara and let you know um, my thoughts on this mascara. You guys, it is wonderful. It has done a lot for my eyelashes. Um, so I don't want to get into what's been going on with my eyelashes. But I had mentioned one time before that... Um, I was using eyelash curlers and I pulled out some of my lashes and I didn't realize it until they got thin. But I can say this uh, mascara really, really boosts your lashes and I will do a video. In fact, I will have that video probably, um, I'm not going to say probably, I will have that video up for next week, okay? I will have that ready for you guys. All right, and the last thing is my lips. Now, I did kind of like an umbre type of uh, lip color or lip look. Um, what I did is I used this Boutique Lip Liner in Natural. It just looks like this. All right, I just lined my lips a little bit above my natural lip line. So... Yeah, I lined it with this beautiful, beautiful liner. Then I went in with this uh, MAC lipstick. It's from the uh, collection called Pedro. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know if I'm saying this last name right, but Lorenco, I'm not sure. But yeah, I bought this a while back, but I still have it. It's the Amplified lipstick but the name of the lipstick is called peach beige and i love it it's like that concealer nude you know what i'm talking about the concealer nude that's exactly what it is and i'll show you yeah see it's like that concealer nude but it looks very pretty with this smoked out eyeshadow look on my eyes so yeah I love the way my makeup look today and I'm so ready to you know see my daughter do uh play her instruments and I'm so proud of her so yeah I got kind of dressed up for this makeup of the day I hope you enjoyed this look I hope you like this look if you did give me a thumbs up and um Comment if you like and don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. So yeah, you guys, I'm going to let you go so you all have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening. And remember, I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>